All right, you guys, it is like 1.44 on Wednesday afternoon. I was just having some lunch, hash browns, and my boyfriend just yelled that we got the ASEA in. We were supposed to get it on Thursday, but it came in today. So I'm gonna finish my lunch and I'm gonna take my first dose of ASEA before I shoot with Cindy and Debbie. All right, you guys, it just came in. I've got one bottle behind my desk right now, and I'm about to take two caps of this to do it right now and then right, right before I go to bed. Good morning, everybody. It is 5.45 in the morning on Thursday, March 2nd. This is my officially my second day doing the ASEA. I didn't do the full dose yesterday because I got it halfway through the day, but um, and I also spoke with April from Spiritually Raw and I forgot that I'm supposed to swish it around my mouth um, for 30 seconds to a minute before I swallow. So that sounds like a really bad dirty joke, but you guys know what I mean. So anyway, I just filled up the cup that comes with it. I'm gonna swish it for like 30 seconds. warm it up a little bit when it's cold it hits hard on the gum so maybe my advice is not to refrigerate for some reason we thought we would try refrigerating them I don't think you have to my advice would be don't refrigerate your ASEA because it's cold <laughs> I'm gonna try to warm this up a little bit with my hands all right you guys so the time is now 603 on Thursday morning uh, this morning I'm actually gonna kick box uh, because of my ear issue that's been going on last week, I'm gonna take a couple of weeks to do bar and kickboxing only just to keep my head upright to make sure the procedure with my ear is fully healed before I start going back upside down again. So um, I don't have that as much time today. Thursdays are usually a really jam-packed day for me. I start uh, recording with Catherine at nine o'clock, then I have another 11 o'clock recording, and then I have a two o'clock show on Telegram. Uh, all of these shows take a couple of hours, and of course the editing of these shows takes some hours too. So the kickboxing boxing was 12 me today because it's only 45 minutes um, and as far as like cardiovascular work that's typically not something I do every single day as a vata um, but every once in a while even when my ear is fine I will do kickboxing maybe like two to three times a month basically um, just to get the cardio back up again especially getting into my 40s. Now once again I did you guys did see me take my first dose of the ASEA this morning on an empty stomach before I started exercising and yes lesson learned I'm not gonna put it in the refrigerator because when you swish it around your mouth it's intense on the gums when it's that cold so from now on it's gonna be on the counter and it's gonna be room temperature so all right let's get kickboxing I'm a hot sweaty mess. I just finished kickboxing. It always feels so good when you're done with like intense cardio like that. I'm dripping sweat right now. Um, it is 6.52 a.m. I've got to actually mop the floor up um, because the floor is really, really sweaty. And then I'm gonna order some breakfast from Panera and I will hop in the shower. I don't know if you guys can see all that sweat. <laughs> on the floor towards the end of slipping around. So there's Robbie. That's what Robbie did the whole workout. <laughs> he just sleeping, Bubba. He just sleeping on the sofa.
right, you guys. So it's 8.01 a.m. in the morning. I just got finished got getting ready. It took me about 45 minutes to get ready this morning. I'm about to sit down and have breakfast. I ordered breakfast this morning from Panera. There's a Panera right across the street from us. Um, and I have a spinach and avocado and egg sandwich here with a uh, Greek yogurt uh, with mixed berries parfait. Um, uh, this sandwich from Panera typically comes with tomatoes, but I always get the tomatoes removed because tomatoes are extremely vata. They're a big time vata food and a vata food that I cannot digest raw. I can have grilled tomatoes, I can have ketchup, I can have hot tomato soup, but plain raw tomatoes will send my vata into derangement. So I got the tomatoes off. Um, the berries and the, uh, so the strawberries and the blueberries that are in this parfait are also vata, but they don't bother me like tomatoes do. So I usually can handle those. That's why with the dosha system, if you're a vata pitta like I am, there's gonna be some vata foods that you're gonna be able to handle that I won't be able to handle. That's why it's super important to go and see an Ayurvedic doctor. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my breakfast. And then I'm while I'm doing that, I'm gonna be checking emails and then I'm going to be pre preparing to shoot with Catherine. All right, so it is 12.02 in the afternoon. I am just loading up my video I did with Catherine earlier today, and I'm downloading the video I just finished with Nicole and Angie that will be loaded up on Friday. All of these videos will have aired long before this vlog ever airs. I just fixed myself some lunch, a little pizza, and um, I took my second dose of a Sia. So we'll see guys. April told me from Spiritually Raw that they take theirs first thing in the morning and then around midday. So I'm going to try doing their schedule of dosages um, and I'll keep you guys posted. If you're on a CIA, let me know when you take your doses. Good morning, everybody. It is like 5.30 in the morning on Friday. I just woke up. My alarm's went off. Um, and I'm about to go take, it's my... My third day? No, but yes, my third day doing the ASEA. About to go do my first dose. I'm not working out today. Today I scheduled today as a, as a rest day because I've got a lot to do today. So I'm going to be working out tomorrow instead, Saturday. Excuse me. So we're going to get up. We're going to take our ASEA. And I'm going to force myself to eat some breakfast. I'm going to have a lighter breakfast than I did yesterday because I'm not, not exercising today, so... Anyway, let's go take our Arcea. Right, Robbie? Oh, hi, sorry. Are you still teeping? Are you still teeping? That's okay. He's a little Maharaja. You can sleep. He got his blanket up here, too. Yeah, is that your blanket you have with you up here? And if Robbie had it his way, we would sleep till like 11 o'clock every day, will we, buddy? Okay, so every Asiya comes with a cap. I'm gonna take two of these. Now I need to swish it around my mouth for 30 to 60 seconds before I swallow. Which is gonna take like two gulps of this, so. We're done with our morning dose. I'm gonna actually fix myself some grits for those who are not from the South. I'll show you what they are. I'm just gonna use the Insta packets because Lord have mercy, I have no idea how to cook. So I'm gonna boil some water and make my grits and I'm actually gonna get back in bed and relax a little bit before I have to get up and start going. All right, you guys, it is a rainy, rainy, rainy day here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, it is, the time now is 9.30 in the morning. Um, I, I, since you last saw me, I took today as a rest day, as you guys know. And I have basically just been cleaning my apartment this morning, trying to get some housework done, you know, the adulting stuff. Uh, so I've got one load in the dryer. My sheets are in the wash right now. And then I've got another load to do. I've cleaned my bedroom, living room, kitchen. I still have to clean my bathroom, but Robbie gets a bath today. So I will be scrubbing out my bathroom after Robbie has had his bath today. Um, so yeah, dog owners know how it 
it is to <laughs> obey the dog. The whole bathroom smells like dog when you're when you're done. And so right now I'm just running to the store. I'm feeling really, really good today. I'm feeling really calm today. Um, I don't know if that's the ASEA. It's only been like three days or so since I've started the ASEA. So I'm not, I'm not sure if that's the case or if I'm just feeling calm anyway. Oh, that guy just totally did not have the right of way. Anyway, um, I don't know if it's the ASEA or if I'm just feeling good myself in general. Um, I had read somewhere that somebody had said that the ASEA was really good for people with anxiety, which is something that I definitely struggle with and I've been very open about on my channel about my battles with anxiety. And so I'm curious if maybe that's why I'm feeling pretty calm. Um, we'll see though as the weeks progress. Again, it's only been three days, so I don't know if this is just me feeling good or if it is the ASEA, so we'll just see as time goes on. Um, I did notice this morning my my skin looked, my face looked a little bit more relaxed. So it, it looked a little bit, I thought like younger maybe, I don't know, it didn't, it seemed a little bit more relaxed, but I don't know too if that's just, you know, a good skin day, I have no idea, we'll see. So anyway, so yep, heading to the grocery store, I'm actually heading to Target, um, which has a grocery store because there's something I need to get that they only sell at Target, and then I'll be coming home uh, doing my second dose for the day of my ASEA, which again, I think I said this yesterday, April from Spiritually Raw, she and Jay do, from what I understand, they do their first dose first thing in the morning and then they do their second dose midday. And so I'm gonna kind of follow their example instead of doing the second dose at night, doing it midday. Um, I do also wanna note that it has been uh, said that when you're doing the ASEA to make sure you're drinking enough water, which I think that's just a, a good health note in general, whether you're doing ASEA or not, is to make sure you're drinking not enough water. Um, I'm pretty good about monitoring my water because I exercise a lot. So, um, so yeah, uh, just to help the ASEA uh, do, the, the redox do what it needs to do to get through, uh, through to your cells. So anyway, um, after I have my lunch and my second dose, I will be filming with Sarah, uh, my, my friend, my new friend who, who reads tea leaves. Uh, she will be coming back on the channel today. So. Midtown to the right of me, where you see RJ Crickets, that's kind of getting into more downtown Atlanta, which is not, I think downtown Atlanta is really fun, but it's not super safe. I mean, there's a lot of like, uh, there's a lot of businesses there, of course, but uh, but it's it's not, it's, it's a little bit more, a um, little bit more savage down there, let's just say. So I'm just pulling into the Publix right now. Well, actually, I'm going to the bank, but the, the main store here is the Publix. So I'm actually going to swing around the back of Publix because the bank is on the other side. And, um, and 
yeah, so this whole area, you know, back when I was a kid, this whole area was also a very dangerous area, but it's been very, uh, very much cleaned up since the Olympics. Like, since the Olympics was here in 1996, um, they really cleaned up this area. So, all right, there's my bank. I'm going to run in quickly. All right, you guys, just leaving the bank. I'm on Piedmont, uh, which is another big road that goes through Atlanta, heading back home. That was like a that was kind of a freaky experience at the bank. I, mean, I just, I guess I wasn't paying attention. There were all these men standing there, like armed. Um, and of course, like they were probably just changing out the uh, the money from the ATM machine, but it like caught me off guard. And I kind of, as I was like in the bank, my, my heart was racing a little bit because I, I just felt so weird to see like, I don't know, these big men, armed men just kind of standing there with mask on like I don't know I was like oh my god are we about to be on the news <laughs> they're about to be like eyes um but no obviously I got out okay and it was probably just I wasn't paying attention and I'm sure they were just changing out the ATM machines or something or I don't know but it was uh su surprisingly apparently Chase Bank is one of the banks that capitulated so which is nice because that's my bank so I guess I, uh, if that's true I don't know if it's true or not if that's true then I won't have to, to change banks when um whenever the new money system happens. I don't know when that's gonna be, but um, but yeah. It's about 11.30 on Friday. I'm gonna take my second dose of ASEA. I have to actually open a new bottle. Yeah, I have to open a new bottle. you guys there's miss sarah right there i'm not gonna i'm not gonna film the episode from my vlog this episode with sarah is gonna air long before the vlog one does anyway but you guys i will obviously be putting her channel down in the description box below so make sure that you if you're if you're watching this vlog and you came to see the asia experiment um and you're not familiar with sarah go make sure you subscribe to her channel because you don't see many tea leaf readers around do you no, no, you don't. There's really not too many around, and the ones that do tea leaf reading, you just don't hear about them. They're usually in a family, and or you hear of someone who does them, but there's not too many who do them publicly, and those who do, I don't think there's too many on YouTube. There's a few, but... No, and, and listen, Sarah's cute. A lot of, a lot of tea leaf readers aren't... She's, she's a cute one. They're, I don't want to say... <laughs> So you should, you should, you should go, you should go and sub subscribe to her channel, guys, for sure. And I was just actually telling her about the SC. I was saying that I've been vlogging myself for the next the last three days, and I'm gonna keep doing it for like a week to to vlog my uh, changes. And I was telling yeah. her that my anxiety had mellowed a lot, and I don't, I'm just seeing if it's yeah. the SC. And I had read that 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 was a, a, a side effect because I know Sarah, you, we've talked about that. I think anxiety is something oh, yeah. a lot of people struggle oh, with. Absolutely. Like I even woke up this morning in a, in a total panic. Yeah, and you don't even know where it's coming from. It just kind of comes out of nowhere. And so, you know, I know that trauma can cause anxiety as well. Like, we get that. But I do think that a lot of our things we can't help, like what they put in our food, the air can also probably. And so if the ASEA is helping balance, rebalance that in the body, then I'm totally for it. So anyway, guys, well, I'm going to turn this off because... If you did not see Sarah's video and you're watching this video for the first time, go over to her channel or my channel and check out what Sarah's got to say. Of course, all of her booking information will be in the description box as well. All right. See you soon, guys. Love you guys. Good morning, everybody. It is about 6.30 in the morning on Saturday, March 4th. 
and I just woke up, I made that up, and I'm about to go do my bar class. Now, I'm gonna try today to do my ASEA, my first dose, after I exercise. I had kind of a bit of like a, a mini panic attack um, on Thursday morning when I kickboxed, because I did the ASEA, and then I kickboxed, and I had this thought like, did I just sweat all of that out? So I'm gonna ask Dan, I'm, I'm gonna do my ASEA today post my workout, and then today, after I work out, I have an interview with uh, Danielle, who is high up in ASEA and has an incredible story about the healing benefits of ASEA. I'm going to ask her that today on our interview. Like, if you are someone who works out every single morning hardcore, should you be taking the ear first dose before or after you exercise? I've got my pajamas on right now, but I'm going to go ahead and change into my workout clothes and get ready to do a bar class. All right, you guys, I just finished my workout. That was a tough one today, and I am about to take my first dose of ASEA. I'm sweating like a 300 pound man with gland problems right now, but that's okay. I'm gonna take my ASEA, and then I'm gonna jump in the shower, and then I'm gonna make my breakfast. So here we go. First dose of ASEA today. So both morning and night, I take two cups of this, swish it around 30 to 60 seconds before I swallow. So here we go. you guys it's about 9 45 in the morning and i am about on saturday morning march 4th i am about to log on to have a episode to an interview with danielle from asia she has an incredible story of her health things she ate overcome using the product so obvious obviously by the time this uh vlog airs i will have already done this episode but in case you're just now watching this i will put all the links to every episode i speak about down in the description box below all right so we just got back from a walk and i'm now doing my second dose of the day it's quarter to two saturday afternoon Good morning, everybody. The time now is 3.30 on Sunday morning. This is the witching hour, Brahma Morta. Um, I am about to do my uh, workout, but I did speak to Danielle yesterday. If you missed that interview, because that interview will have aired long before this video airs, that interview is down in the description box below. I asked her about the redox. If I take my magic potion before or after I work out and she suggested from what I understand if you take it before your workout it's going to help enhance your workout if you take it after your workout it's going to help you rebuild from your workout 
So uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take my first cup before I work out and my second cup after I work out for my morning dose. Um, and we'll see how I feel. Again, this is all just an experiment to see what happens. I am feeling a little bit bloated today because I had a really, we ended up having a really big dinner last night. It's not something I typically like to do. A heavy dinner typically means a harder workout the next day, but that's okay. Marty Alton did drop a whole new uh, 60 minute class yesterday, so I'm gonna try that this morning. And yeah, all right, let's get started. So I just finished my workout. Now I'm gonna take my second ASEA. Time is now five o'clock in the morning. I'm actually about to take a bath instead of a shower. Got my face mask on because I'm not washing my hair today because I had to teach this morning. And so I'm gonna get sweaty anyway. So I typically don't wash, worry about washing my hair when I have to teach. Um, otherwise I do wash my hair every single day. Uh, when I film, I wash my hair because I don't really like the smell of dirty hair. But when I teach, I get sweaty anyway. So I'm gonna wash my body, shave, all that kind of stuff wash my face of course and um, yeah start getting ready for my class all right um, it is now about 6 52 on Sunday morning March the 5th and I am heading to Marietta which again is a suburb if you've caught my other vlogs or vlogs it's a suburb of Atlanta so I'm heading there I have a class that starts at 8 30 I'm gonna get there a little bit early today I'm gonna stop and get some coffee and then I'm gonna have some quiet time at the studio and I'm gonna write in my journal uh, before my class starts so yeah guys I just got my coffee and now I am heading to Sacred Garden Yoga it is the time now is 7 16 a.m. in the morning uh, my class actually starts at 8 30 so I'm gonna have about an hour of quiet time when I get to the studio which is awesome anyway I realized when I was driving that there was a, a very important question that somebody emailed me and asked me that I thought maybe I would cover in this vlog I had um, one of our awesome community members here email me and ask me about why I used only two pound or three pound weights in the bar classes. And I thought that was a really good question, especially for people who are very new to physical exercise and maybe, um, maybe there's some preconceived notions about physical exercise that we can kind of cover. So the reason why I will never go over three pound weights in my uh, bar workouts. The reason why is very, very simple. There's two dominant reasons why I will never go, for myself, I will never go over three pound weights. So the body, when we're working out, we're looking at cause and effect. So whatever you do, whatever work you ask of your body, your body will return, the cause is the work will return with the effect. So 
a lot of people have this miss this this um very naive understanding of weights. If I were to work with five or 10 or up to 10 pound weights as a woman in the bar class, I would get very, very bulky, okay? Heavier weights are really good for stagnant weight. That's another reason they're really good for stagnant weight lifting, but when you're moving the arms around, like you're dancing like you do in bar and you have weights, if you want long, lean muscles, which is what I want, it's what it's what most women want, and frankly, it's what looks better on men too. I don't like the big, bulky men. I like long, lean muscles on men as well. You want to look at lower weights, right? So, if I went over three pounds, my body would bulk up or swell up. Okay, so for a woman, if you were to grab five pound weights to do the bar work, you're gonna get bulky. You're gonna get swollen. Um, the muscles are not going to be long and lean. You need between one and three pound weights or no weights if you know how to control your arms. So if you're just swinging your arms around sporadically in your workout, that's not gonna bulk up. That's not even gonna tone anything because there's no control. So as long as you can control your arms like a dancer controls their arms, you can do it without weights and weights and still have the same effect with the long and lean and muscles like a dancer's body, right? That's what we're looking for. A dancer's body, a yoga person's body, even with figure skating, figure skating bodies, they're long lean muscles. Now again, vanity wise, as a woman, that's what I want. I don't want to be bulky like a man. Now, another reason why I choose to do lower weights comes from physical, FYI, that's the yoga shala right in front of me now, I'm just gonna park. Another reason why I do lower weights is the physicality. So, practical why, when you are, like if you look at those Jersey guys, like I know Jersey has this reputation of being like, you know, the, the Guidos, you know, the, the real swollen, um, bulky guys, the big arms, not something I'm super attracted, like the big bulkiness is not what I'm attracted to as a woman. If you look at their body, the, their bulk, like the weightlifters, that strength is a false strength. So if I was in a burning building and I needed somebody to rescue me, I would rather somebody rescue me that had long lean muscles instead of bulky muscles because long lean muscles are able to actually do work. My teacher in India did a big conference on this one time and it was brilliant. You know, the big bulky muscles are great for weightlifting competitions, but there there's no strength there. There's no real strength there. Maybe they can hold a big dumbbell for a few seconds, but that's it. There's no practical strength. Think about the strength you need in your day. Carrying many uh, bags of groceries from your car to your house, carrying your child on your hip while you have a briefcase on another arm. Think about everything you do during the day. Carrying the laundry basket, picking up the vacuum cleaner, all the stuff you do, if you were swollen, if your muscles were swollen, you would not be able to do that healthily. And so lower weights, uh, if I, you know, I don't work with weights when I teach yoga, obviously we work with our own body weight, but if I were a personal trainer with what I know about the body, I would never allow a female to go over, over three pounds, never. Um, you know, I just, to me, it's just not good for women. It's not a practical strength. And again, we, we want to, we want to drain the lymphatic system, not, not swell it up. I hope that makes sense. And please let me know if you have any more questions about that. And I will be happy to answer. All right. For now, I'm going to head into the yoga studio. Man, Robbie. I hear 
the toilet running. Were you drinking toilet water, Ravi? When you've got a bowl of clean water on the floor? You love you some toilet water, don't you, buddy? Don't you? You get the bestest filtered water that there could be, but you always prefer the toilet water. <laughs> don't you? Uh, okay. All right, so it is 2.40 in the afternoon. I've already taken one cap, and now I'm about to take my second cap, which will complete my dose today. All right, everybody, it is 7.04 in the morning. Look at Ravi, look how, look how, Robbie, you're just, this is your house. We just are lucky to live with you. <laughs> uh, I just got off of filming with Tamara. Yes, Tamara. And um, so I was up really early this morning. I'm up every early every morning, but I had a filming with Tamara at six o'clock. We just finished up for Slow Poisoning Part Two. That video should be out before this vlog drops. But um, today is a moon day, and so it was lucky that I could schedule Tamara early because whenever I shoot with Tamara, it's early in the morning because of the time difference. And so today is a rest day for me because I do observe the moon days. Now, um, in uh, the challenge, we aren't doing moon days because I didn't want it to be too overwhelming. But in traditional yoga, we do observe moon and we don't practice or work out. So that was why it was it worked out really well for me to film with Tamara this, this early in this morning. And in a couple of hours, I will be going on with Aquarius Rising Africa, and then I'm going to be filming again with Catherine and Nicole. And Robbie's just going to live the, uh, the life of leisure, the life of retirement. He was born retired. <laughs> I told you guys, he uh, he was a shallow dog for like a month, but he got fired because he, he was flirting too hardcore with the girls. <laughs> so he's now just a stay-at-home house dog. All right, because Tamara and I just spoke about this, I wanted to show you guys this. We talked a lot in slow poisoning about filtered water. Um, this is my filter system. I keep it underneath the sink and I pull it out for my water and the water is in a glass container. We keep the water in a glass container um, just to keep the water safe from any plastics. And I'm gonna fill this up and then I'm actually gonna boil this water because I'm gonna make myself some coffee. Mm -hmm. So we, again, Tamara and I just spoke about this and slow poisoning and this is what we do in this house. We use a filter system. We have tap, we don't use any tap water whatsoever. I think most people watching probably don't either, but this is a filtered system. It's a pretty expensive filtered system, but it's I've had it for a while. Um, and it's great because it keeps the water filtered and pure. And again, it's being stored. It gets stored in a glass container we can sit together it's so beautiful you and me we meant to be so I just took my second dose for the day for Monday about 2 p.m. Yo, I fell asleep. I was editing. I was up early doing videos all day today. I've had some internet issues. And I decided to like lay on my made up bed and just kind of work. So I was feeling really tired and I fell asleep. I never fall asleep. I never, never take naps, but I fell asleep. Take a step back. I don't know if my body is tired or if it just needed to sleep to heal. I don't know. Okay, everybody. So the time, it's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon on Monday, March 6th. I am exhausted. I don't know why I'm so tired. I just want to sleep. That's all I want to do. I, you know, I don't know if it's my body's just needs to like shut down in order to heal some things or if it's just the stress of just life also i do know in the ayurvedic world that um the springtime and the fall time around the time of the seasons changing people tend to get really tired it's a like you're never supposed to start a detox or a fast or any or cleanse or anything like that around the, the changing of the seasons because the body is trying to adapt to the changes and that it's interesting because down here in the south like it's been 
I mean, I've got the air conditioning. You can probably hear the air conditioning running and the fans on right now. So, ooh, and I think an orb just went by, but um, whatever that is, hello. Um, so it's not even like our weather is changing that much, but the seasons are still changing. And so maybe that's why I'm super tired. Um, tomorrow, which is Tuesday, it's also a moon day today, so that might be the reason too. But tomorrow is Tuesday, March 7th. I'm actually taking the day off of work tomorrow, which I never do. You guys, I never take a day off, and I'm gonna take tomorrow off. I'm gonna get up in the morning, I'm gonna work out, and then oh, I have a date, a day date. We're gonna go um, to a, we're gonna go hiking. Um, at a, a place called Sweetwater Park. It's uh, kind of south of Atlanta. It's a really cool area. They have all these trails and I've been there a few times. Robbie loves it out there. So we're gonna take Robbie and we're, I'm gonna go on a day date tomorrow. And so I'm gonna go to bed really early tonight. Like I'm about to get in the bed in my pajamas. I just took a really hot bath. I take hot baths every night. I use the chamomile Epsom salt. So my skin smells great right now. But I thought I'd record this because I'm actually gonna use the Asia gel as face cream. So I eyeliner under my eyes, but um, I do use face creams. I've been using it <laughs> when I was in like my mid twenties. Someone, some old lady, was like, "You got to start using face cream now in your 20s. So I've been using anti-aging face cream for a while now, but I'm actually gonna use this um, tonight. The Asia gel on my face. So um, I'm going to do it in front of you guys. I've used it on my knee. My knee's been so a little wonky. So I did use it on my right knee today. So we'll see how my knee does in the morning. And um, yeah, I um, was feeling kind of bloated this weekend. And um, I'm not feeling bloated anymore. That's gone. So maybe that's the Asia too. I am about, according to my app, my period app, I am about 11 days away from my period. So it could also be, I'm also gonna use some of my regular face cream. It could also be that I'm just tired because I'm PMSing. Um, I think most women know. For me, it's like every other period is really rough. I guess it depends on, I guess one of, one of my ovaries is, is more uh, dramatic than the other ovary. <laughs> I don't know which one though. A lot, some women say they can feel, they can actually feel it. Whichever side of ovulating, they can actually feel, you know, because for those who don't know, which I know most people know, one month one egg drops from an ovary, the next month the other ovary drops an egg. So anyway, I don't know. But yeah, so I just used the Asia Revitalizing Redox Gel on my face along with my regular face cream. And I am gonna get into bed and I'm gonna watch a movie and I'm gonna get up in the morning. I'm gonna work out and then I'm going to go on a day date hiking I'm gonna take tomorrow off so um, so yeah there's there will still be a video which of course this vlog is gonna drop way after the fact but there'll still be a oh, I already have a video scheduled so anyway you guys I'll see you tomorrow like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. All 
right, so it's 8.30 in the morning. I just finished working out. I did my first cup. So in the morning I do two cups, in the afternoon I do two cups. So I did my first cup before my workout and now I'm about to do my second cup of a Sia post-workout. And then I'm gonna take a bath, rinse off, and then we're gonna go hiking. We're gonna leave here at about 10. My boyfriend's in the other room looking at the trails right now. My dog is gonna be so excited. He's gonna start crying. When we pull into the park, he's gonna start crying in the car. I'll make sure I film that for you guys. But here we go, second cup. Ravi. on Mount Vernon Road. I'm so excited. Yeah, we're gonna go to the mountain. We're almost there, you recognize it, don't you? All right, we're on the yellow trail. We seem to be the only ones out here right now. It's really hot outside. I'm sweating like a whore in church right now. Robbie's having a blast. We're gonna keep going. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. You and me. There's the bridge we've been looking for, right there. Once we get across it, we'll be able to decide if we want to stay on the yellow trail or if we want to do the longer orange trail. On the other side of this trail, there's an old mill. It looks like there's some other stuff here as well. Interesting, right? Because we don't even know what the Civil War really was. So let's go find out. Georgia is one of the most beautiful states. Of course, this is Egypt, right? This is Egypt. So we decided to take the to stay on the yellow trail because the yellow trail is listed as being a little bit more difficult, um, a little steeper terrain than the orange trail. Even the orange trail appears to be a little bit longer, but we'll be coming back. So for today, we're just gonna stay on the orange trail and see where the orange trail takes us. Sorry, I meant to say we're gonna stick on the yellow trail and see where the yellow trail takes us. Next time, next time we'll try the orange trail. Bubba, I see a bunch of turtles. Oh, where? Over there. Oh, I do, they're right over there. All right, you guys, I don't know if you can see it from here. I'll you guys zoom in. There's the old mill. On the other side are trails we've been to the old mill for, um, but we decided to hike the other side of the river this time. But yeah, that's the old mill. I think maybe it's a Tartarian building, who knows? All right, now we're going up into the mountains, so it's gonna get a little steeper now. That's okay. We're on the Asia Redox. We can do it. We meant to be in the great outdoor forever free. All right, 
right, there's the bridge. We're heading back. We just did the big loop. It really wasn't that hard. It was the most difficult. And I think we feel great. I think even Robbie's feeling great right now. So we are heading back to the trailhead now. All right, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday, March 7th. We just got back from our hike. We didn't just get back. We got back about an hour ago from our hike um, at Sweetwater Park. Yeah, we did like three miles, a little over three miles. And then I came home and I actually just randomly started cleaning the bathroom. I usually really give the, my apartment a good clean like once a week and then like light cleaning throughout the week. But um, I went ahead and just, it hasn't even been a week and I just like did some deep cleaning on my bathroom and I dusted in my bedroom and cleaned my desk. And yeah, I just started doing laundry and so I don't know you guys, like I did a full 60 minute bar class this morning, then did a three and a half ish mile hike, a difficult, we did the yellow trail again, which was the most difficult, it was very steep. We went up 350 feet in elevation and then I came home and I started cleaning. So um, maybe that's the ASEA giving me all this energy. I don't know, because that's a lot to do in one day and I'm 40 years old. Um, and it's only two o'clock in the afternoon and I still have plenty of energy. So, uh, you know, doing laundry now, I'm just gonna try to chill out and watch a movie or something. Cause I told myself I would take today off work. So maybe it's the ASEA. currently 7.05 in the morning. I just did about a 90 minute workout. So I'm about to take my second cup of ASEA for the morning and then I'm gonna get in the shower.